Hi, in this video, we will look at a library that helps you to fetch a preview for the link provided in text. Now, what do I really mean by this is that, as you remember, you must have seen in timelines on your Facebook app that you're able to view a preview of any link that has been shared with you, right? So let's have a look at the library. Features are that it acts like a text crawler to fetch any website link that is present in the text and then returns its image if available and description. The utilities are most of the times you can use it in timelines for your users. Let's have a look at the demo. So as you can see, I have typed some text inside this edit text, which is hi there. Here is the link HTTPS. I've actually jotted down the link here. And then when I click on submit, you can see that there's this sort of a task starting up and uh, I get to see this, you know, the, the relevant image which is being fetched from the website. And there's also you know, the relative, uh, uh, related, sorry, related uh, information about the website. And if I want, I can also click on no thumbnail. And uh, after that, if I click on post, then this thing gets posted in the post area. Now, uh, there's another option which has been provided here. Now, this is something uh, subjective to your own requirement. If I click on random, then random links start appearing here. And of course, you can uh, change the links here and, uh, you know, put the links that you want to come. Now, if I click on submit, uh, I will see that uh, Facebook should start showing up, right? So here you can see there's another one here. If I click on post now, then again, it comes to the post area and this is scroll view right so this is what the library does now let's go back to our android studio and uh, see uh, what how to do this so here we are inside the android studio and uh, let me first show you the uh, app module where we have the link or uh, rather the uh, dependency mentioned here so this is a dependency that you need to add you also need to add uh, two more dependencies. It's by uh, this one and another one. We'll make, uh, someday we'll make video for this dependency as well. Uh, so uh, what you need to do is let's go to main and start discussing what really is happening here. So there are a couple of layouts that have been used here. And uh, I, would, I would like to mention it again that I have not made any changes to the code that I received. Uh, in, instead of just a just few changes which I will tell you later uh, just to make this available for you to you know for the for the demo so uh, what is really happening here is that uh, uh, when we uh, when we launch the app this is the app uh, this is the activity which gets appeared and uh, there is this text crawler class which is available inside this library that is present here so this library has got a uh, couple of uh, classes and interfaces so text crawler is one of the classes which i have not touched this class at all let me mention that so this text crawler is uh, taking the responsibility of crawl the entire text uh, i have got a submit button here so submit button when the submit button is clicked then uh, we get to see that uh, there is this let me show you the submit button yeah, this is the submit button says click listener and we are uh, calling the we are using the object of text crawler and calling the method make preview this is a method which is uh, available in the library itself you don't have to make this and you have to provide it uh, interface uh, an interface uh, or reference uh, that is called back here and edit text get text so this is the this is the part where you are actually picking the text that the user has provided from the edit text and after that it does the entire job right uh, after that, uh, what is happening is that this method gets called on pre. Uh, this hides the soft keyboard and then uh, it does all the initializations that are required. And uh, after that, post is called on post. This is what comes from the text crawler class. So text crawler class does its all its job and it happens all in the background. As in, not in the background per se, but uh, you don't have to do any changes if you just need this library straight away. You can use this. And uh, this is the we're first checking if we were able to find anything in the text and if it is equaling to uh, nothing as in uh, only double quotes then in that case we can you know we can create a view which is failed and we are you know releasing the preview area and in case we get uh, something there then we make the post button as visible so if you remember post button was visible only after the mm, the you know the 
the text crawler did its job and returned us the image and after that uh, we are making all the initialization as per the requirement and uh, uh, by the way this is all being done um, uh, by the library itself you just have to make changes to it if you want to right and uh, that's it so it's it's all about on pre and on post uh, this is the no thumb checkbox method that has been designed here so if you want you can you know customize this as per your requirement but uh, make sure that you know you go through the entire library first before you make any changes here is a random uh, string library uh, sorry links that are there uh, you can make these links here you can in increase more links here if you want and uh, i removed them because just for the sake of demo I, I did not want a lot of links to be there right so that's how this library is working uh, now let's let's visit the you know our uh, uh, the developers uh, github link so here's a developer who has created this library uh, they have a couple of libraries associated with them and uh, let's have a look at those libraries also uh, we have leonardo cardoso i'm sorry if I, my pronunciation is not correct uh, but they've made a lot of libraries and i think uh, they're doing a great job let's follow them and uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, we uh, we have used the library which is not showing up in the preview here uh, that's quite strange uh, but uh, we will be covering up other libraries from the same developer do uh, make sure that you you know like uh, use the library because it's, it's pretty awesome and uh, the base out of berlin in germany so that's about it so let's uh, let's meet in our next video take care bye bye